Hello everyone. I hope you're having a wonderful day. My day just got a little bit better because uh, I just pulled up and got to see this home for the very first time. And I'm getting a tour it for y'all. This is the Rocky Mountain 3, I believe is the model name on this one. Okay, so this is part of Hilltop Structures. I don't know if y'all remember, I come to their place last year. This is in Cumberland Furnace, Tennessee. We're like 30 minutes uh west of nashville tennessee <laughs> you know what i'm saying now y'all know about nashville but anyways so their office and everything is like right down the road this is actually a house that uh his daughter the owner his daughter had set up and they, they kind of show it you know sometimes the people are looking to build this model and so they're letting me tour it to put it here on the channel and plus it'll be on their website and stuff but yeah we're also going to be going to their dealership to video some homes so y'all stay tuned for all that yes it has a basement we're gonna check all of that out but as you can tell this one here is pretty big with a porch several mini splits in it and i haven't even been back here but let's just walk back and see what we got wow y'all know where i live like you don't really see basements and stuff that much so i really enjoy getting to see that as you can tell this home hasn't been set up too long but it's beautiful they customized it up very nice mm, several bedrooms several bathrooms we've got us uh i like that it's like that we're gonna we'll, we may step out onto that as well come on around here we've got us a guard it's getting about that time or i guess sorry past that time i'm not gonna try to act like i know much about gardening because i don't okay we'll circle we're gonna circle back around i'm gonna step on that porch and we're gonna make our way in whoa all right, so yeah, let's step on the porch. Um, I'll try to get some literature that we'll share, and especially at the end, I'll talk a lot about, so y'all stay tuned for all that. Kind of hopefully be able to give you some dimensions on this particular porch and all the rooms and everything. But yeah, this is a modular home. This is built to, uh, they can set these homes anywhere in the state of Tennessee. Now, he was telling me they're looking at maybe expanding as well, so we can keep that in mind, and also, and then they have those park model homes over there at their dealership and they can like ship those pretty much all over. So that's, that's cool. We have these light fixtures here. Give you a close up of our siding. Y'all gonna really enjoy this floor plan and then plus the basement. Uh, we got a lot to see. Let, let's step in. As you can see, the last thing, see how this hinges right here? Like this, this porch will kind of be pulled down, and this is how when it's transporting everything. Yo, don't forget to share this video, subscribe to the notification bell, and drop me a like if you will. Thank you so much. Here we go. Okay, I'll take just the, that's all we're getting. We're gonna, we're gonna definitely save that for last. Wow. So yeah, this house is filled with all types of wood. What you've got is kind of what they consider like a white pine here, pretty much on your walls. Let's start out with the living room. Ooh, some beautiful furniture. Huge shout out to to his daughter. I'm sorry I hadn't got to meet her yet, uh, but very thankful they allowed me to tour their home. And uh, like I said, they're going to be able to use some of this footage to put on their website. And obviously when they have people that come uh, to their dealership and want to look at this house, they can show them the video and all that. So it's kind of good for everybody involved. And then I get to, put, I get to have it to put on the channel, which is crazy, and get to see what y'all... Is that a... <laughs> get to see what y'all think. Next up, oh, let's step let's step into the kitchen. I don't know where to go. Oh man, look at these countertops. Like I walked in, turned the lights on, but I really didn't just do a whole lot of looking around, especially in depth. These countertops, it's gonna be like a lazy Susan looks like. I really don't want to get off in there. Um cabinets, but I gotta see. Yes, it's a lazy Susan.
I also actually just came from another location about 30 minutes from here. I got to tour a home that they set up for some customers and they were doing something really cool. Like, so they had the house setting and then off the back, they're like building a whole nother section. It's really cool. It may be on the channel. I'll let you know with some text, but if you haven't seen that video and it is up, telling you, telling you, telling you, you would really like to see that as well, I think. A half to one minute, I know I kind of gave you a shot, but I want to give you a really close shot so you can see that. And if you notice, check out that rope. Can you see that rope that we have? It kind of comes on around here. I like that a lot. It's just very rustic vibes. Just uh, like my dad would love this. He's a, you know, cat, big cowboy and I, you know, kind of say that I am as well, but he's on another level and uh, loves, loves stuff like this. So maybe he's watching. So you got your dining table here uh, and you can see they've kind of got this down and you can actually pull this up if you needed more chairs, but they've got it down to kind of give you more walk walk around room through here, stainless steel appliances. Got the Whirlpool fridge right here. I do like these pools on these cabinets. It's like I keep walking away from the kitchen and then I end up back. <laughs> Y'all are like this guy. I'm trying to, oh my goodness. What, what? Oh, is, <laughs> let's do it. Yeah, so I know this ain't necessarily just a pantry, but I had to throw in the pantry dance because, wow. I mean, obviously, you've got this area right here, which would be considered a pantry. But then all of this, you got an out electrical outlet there. You've got your breaker box. Oh, yeah, I remember these, these door handles. Let's uh let's see. I don't I have taken my shoes off, but yeah, we can step here. It had been raining earlier. Ooh. So with the with the land kind of going down like that, it makes this porch be up very high. I like that a lot. I mean, you can step out here, so peaceful. This is definitely out in some country. Nice little fire pit they've got. You can tell they've got this place set up nice. All right, let's head back in. We got a lot more to see. Okay, we're back in. We got to start checking out some bedrooms because we still got to go down there and see that basement. Yeah, let's see. Oh, we got a bath. I'll tell you what, let's go into this bedroom first. We've got us a mini split right here. We walk into a bedroom. Yeah, you're gonna see this pine just throughout. I like, uh, I noticed that in like all the rooms, you got these remotes. As soon as you walk in, you got a remote here for a mini split. Oh, I've gotta give, get y'all a close up of this. I like this, this trim. And then the way you have these kind of like built in on top of that, it looks beautiful. All right, so I'm not going to go into any of their closets just because of privacy measures. I don't think I'd want anybody doing that if I tore my house for people to see on YouTube. So I'm not going to do that, but, and I'm sure they wouldn't even mind, but let's just, we're just not going to do that. Okay, step out of there. Now, let's take a look at this bathroom. This is our first bath of the tour. We got these same countertops in here. We've got a uh, pocket door going into this bath.
And then they have a model called the Laramie that's got a second level and that's got this shower upstairs on that second level. And I talked about it, um, but like, this is not like, I don't know, what is that stuff that you would see like in an RV that's kind of like, is it like pe plexiglass or something? I don't know, but this is not that. This is straight glass that's like somehow bent. I don't even know how that's possible, but very, very upgraded, very nice. Walk into here, so this is like uh this is this is like where they the fellas they come in here, all oh, got the study. That's cool. Got you another mini split in here. It's always good when you see you got the good book right here. Come in here and get you some peace. I mean, yeah, do a little working out if you need to. And I like these vaulted ceilings a lot. All right, now let's go down here to the main bedroom. As we come on down to the main room, we've got the bed. <laughs> we'll get down there, but I didn't really show you much of this little like coffee station that you have right here. May your coffee kick in before reality does. Oh, okay. I got you. So they got this sliding door here that can be shut. And you know, just in case you're like potentially looking at getting this house, let me shut that just so you like, I just kind of wondered what that would look like. There you go. But I'm gonna leave it open because that's how it was when I came in here. And this comes into the main bedroom. Wow, this is a very big bedroom. You got a lot of space in here. So behind this door is gonna be like a nice storage closet for you. And then, yep, here is our main bed. We've got another mini split in here with the vaulted ceilings as well. And I'm not going to go into their closet, but the door's open, so I kind of give you just a quick look. They have it very uh, put together in there. Uh, if Caitlin's watching, she's like, well, the reason our, ours isn't is because of you, but which she is correct, but ours definitely doesn't look that good. We got double sinks in here. I really like these faucets. Same countertops that we've seen throughout the rest of the house. And the, these modular homes and what they're building here at Hilltop is just, man, it's something that I, I haven't toured really since last year. And, or I hadn't for sure toured any of there since last year, but I hadn't really toured anything like this. Um, Not long ago, you know, I, I toured that one back at home that a guy was setting up, you know, was kind of along the same lines. This is their shower tub combo right here, very nice. But obviously, it was a, a lot smaller. This house is crazy big. I'll have some dimension size of square footage and everything for y'all, especially in the description. Oh, we got that sliding door. Make sure you that's kind of got a different slide on it. All right, so the only thing we have left to do is head down to that basement. Uh, now obviously you know if you're going to set one of these up on a basement you're going to have to do most of that yourself i really don't know the ins and outs of that um maybe they could depending on where it's going to be set and everything but i just want to show it to you since this one is on a basement kind of show you what that would look like if you did do that just keep all that in mind let's go check it out i just like when you walk in you look and you see all that like 
I'm like intrigued. I'm like, what is down there? I love this. This handrail that you have coming down here. The steps look wonderful. I come down here and I really just looked in here. I didn't even look all the way down that direction. Oh my gosh, this is this is a huge area. Hey, I peek I I check I see the wakeboard there. I like that. If y'all don't know, I'll wakeboard a little bit. I can do a a back roll. You know what I'm saying? That's all I got though. I really ain't even done one of those in a few years because I'm like 30-something now. I don't want to get hurt. <laughs> but, yeah, there's those doors we kind of look, looked at for just a glimpse. We stepped around back. Let me turn right here so you can see. Wow. This is probably where I would be most evenings doing something. As it looks like the husband kind of does the same. I could be wrong. The wife could be down here just as much. Very cool. Look at these beams right here. I like how they were able to put their water heater down here. That's nice. They got their washer and dryer and everything. Man, y'all share this video, will you? Please share it with someone. Don't forget to, to subscribe and hit the notification bell if you haven't. And uh, drop a like on the video, if you if you will. That'll help us out tremendously. And stick around. I'm finna get into some more information. I'll try to, what I'll do is when I go home, I'll try to gather a lot of stuff for y'all to be able to help you out and uh, hopefully be able to provide you more information. Okay, so I know the tour's been extremely long, so I'm gonna be very brief here, but I wanna talk about some things that I think will really help y'all. And I know this house being set on some property is kind of maybe a little hard to understand, but they do have a dealership. They have these homes set up where you can look at, and then you kind of uh, get the home customized the way you'd like to do certain things. And they deliver them and set them up. And it's Hilltop Structures. You can check out their website. I'll pop up just a little bit of their website, but you can check them out to find out all the information. Uh, all these homes are built in-house. It's pretty cool. Well, I wouldn't say all of them, but most of them, they're built there. Uh, so it's pretty awesome. It's not something that I could do a whole lot of, so I was grateful to got I got to video some more. Uh, but yeah, so this house right here is the Rocky Mountain 3. They have a Rocky Mountain 2, and they have a Rocky Mountain 3. This is the Rocky Mountain 3. This is the third one. This is the Trace. But I'll have more information in the description for you, and then I just, like I said, I recommend checking out their website. And then we have some links in there you can check out if you want to. Uh, but yeah, I really, the next, the last thing I want to talk about is, oh, sorry, the videos come out Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday, <laughs> and, um, okay, real brief, I, I've probably got like six or seven locations that I'm going to be hitting over the next, like, two, three weeks, so, man, y'all just stay tuned to the channel, there's going to be some wild stuff that I've never got to tour, some brand new models, and then some manufacturers I've never got to tour, uh, so it, it's the next, wow, the next month, month or so is going to be wild. But yeah, uh, really, I just want to get to some, uh, you know, retail estimated pricing. Now, this is what they provided me at Hilltop Structure. But keep in mind, they're only going to cover, as far as these modular homes, they're only going to cover, uh, you know, within their area. Now, the, the, the park models that I've toured there and the ones that I have coming, they can kind of ship them out or whatever. So this is what they told me. I'm going to pop it up right here in just a second, but I'll just read what it says. This price right here, uh, obviously then the foundation is going to be extra. Um, that's just the upstairs part with the mini split and everything. It obviously doesn't include the, the back deck, but it does include the front porch. So it's basically your home and um, yeah, and then everything inside of the home. Uh, but okay, right here, great idea on what this home is going to be going for. Now let me head out. I'm trying to, I got to keep this video under 20 minutes. I hope I did so. I will see you right back here Thursday night. It's going to be a special tour, something I think every one of you like to see, 645 Central Time. God bless you all. See you.